Nation, this is the first episode of the 23 through 24 school year. Hey Wolf Nation, I'm Ivan and today we're here with our new high school counselor, Patricia Bareilles. I know recently you got transferred from being an elementary counselor to a high school counselor. Can you tell me what's been the biggest change for you? The biggest change for me has been working with student individual schedules. Um, I'm new to working with the sender, so uh, it has been a challenge, but we have overcome it. Okay. What are your favorite things about Dilly High School campus? The favorite thing that I can think of right now is working with students that I remember. Uh, y'all were at elementary, so seeing familiar faces and getting to be with y'all again is really, really nice. That's nice. You have worked at Dilly Elementary your whole career at D DISD. Are you excited for your continued pathway at Dilly High School? Of course, I'm excited again uh, to be with y'all, to uh, work with y'all, and uh, make a difference, yes. Okay. What is your greatest achievement in your counseling career? The greatest achievement um, that I can think of is every time that I make an impact with a student. I love working with y'all. Every time someone's in need and I'm there for them, that's an achievement for me. All right. Thank you for your time. Wolf Nation, let's ride. Today, Wolf Nation was at Delhi Elementary. Students pre-K to 5th attend this campus. Let's see which teachers were brave enough to be on camera with us this week. Good. Hey, Wolf Nation. I'm Arlene, and I'm here with... Mary Hawkins. Please tell us your profession. I am a special ed teacher at Dilly Elementary School. Um, I teach the life skills class. Um, what do you think about your profession? Like, what do you love most about it? I love working with special needs kids. And how do you think your school year has been so far? It's going good. We're trying to get our schedules fixed and working around. That's taking some time, but we're getting to it. Thank you, Ms. Hoggins. Thank you for your time. Back to you, Wolf Nation. Hey, Wolf Nation, I'm Arlene, and I'm here with one of our third grade teachers. Mrs. Wilmeth. Mrs. Wilmeth, how has this school year been so far? Um, we've been rocking and rolling. We started the year with our um, PBIS, um, learning how to um, follow the rules, follow directions, rules and procedures. And um, I'm teaching math in third grade this year, and we've already started working on multiplication. So um, we are... Um, moving right along and learning a lot of great things in math this year. That's very good. And what do you love about your profession? Um, I like to see the kids learn. I like to see what they come in learning or what they come in knowing and then seeing what they've learned throughout the year and seeing how they do um, by the end of the year. So seeing the progress from the beginning of the year to the end of the year, I like to see the growth. Thank you, Ms. Wilmeth. Back to you, Wolf Nation. Hi, Wolf Nation. I'm Mackenzie Cook, and I'm here with Max. Max, how has school been going so far? Good. What's your favorite subject? Math. Do you like all your classes and teachers this year? Yeah. Hey Max, I heard you're an athlete. What sports do you play? Football. What position do you play? Quarterback. What's one thing you'd like to say to Wolf Nation? Go Wolf, go. Keeping our campuses safe is important to DISD. Wolf Nation talked to the two men hired to do just that. Hey Wolf Nation, I'm Arlene and I'm here with DISD SRRs. Please introduce yourselves. I'm SRO Isaac Garcia. And? My name is SRO Gomesino Garcia. Please tell us how you keep DISD safe. We uh, mainly check uh, interior, outerior doors, make sure that they're all locked. Um, just to keep people who are unknown to the school district to uh, make no uh, point of entry into the building so we can keep the students and teachers safe. And you? Well, I patrol the outside of the perimeter, make sure the outside, I, I don't see any cars that I don't recognize or anybody that must, that doesn't look like they belong where they, they are, they're out of the element of what they are. What you're used to seeing in school, I walk uh, inside the building, check the doors, make sure all the uh, doors are secured, make sure students are safe, and if they have any questions, I'll tell them, if they need to ask me a question to come up to me, if they need help to come up and ask me what they need, if they have any issues at home, then I can explain that to them too or try to help them out or direct them where they need to go. Yes, sir. Thank you for protecting Delay ISD. Back to you, Wolf Nation. Hey, Wolf Nation. I'm Andrea, and I'm here with Coach Rios, our head girls athletic coordinator and head volleyball coach. So, Coach Rios, how do you motivate your athletes? 
I motivate my athletes by trying to have fun in practice, making it hard at the same time, but I believe in every girl on and off the court that they will achieve their goals. Sounds great. So coach, how is district looking like this year? We have a very competitive district, but I believe if the girls show up every day and work hard, that we can compete with every team in our district. Sounds good, Coach. Thank you for your time. Thank you. And we'll you. see you on the court. Thank you. Bye, Wolf Nation. Hi, I'm Morgan Hildebrand, and here's your DHS Sports News. Tuesday, September 26th, the Lady Wolves will play the Crystal City Javelinas at Crystal City. Thursday, JV Wolves have a bye game. The pep rally next week is under the sea, and Friday, the Dilly Wolves will play San Antonio West Campus at 7.30 at Goshfield. See you there. That's all, folks. We hope you enjoyed the episode. Bye, Wolf Nation.